coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, big punch land. Try to establish that jab. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Now dealing with a cheat cut. Nice head kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a 
huge block! Just unable to quite find that range. Hip into that leg kick. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Just out of range with that left hook. opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. <laughs> Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back in range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. That punch, no good. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He is all about that left kick to the body. Slips. Big body kick. He blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice, sneaky head kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Second round underway. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he hurt a bad with the jab. Kick lands. Oh, 
about this kicking game on full display tonight. Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Straight punch lands. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing. Us. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Let those hands go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Body kick now by Lee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Misses with that punch. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. That's a big strike right there. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, that's a nice strike. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Caught the kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Last round, he was all over you, but you're better than that. Come on now, let's shake it out. Get back in there, let's get 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Don't wait. You hit him first. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, big head kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, right left combo by Lee. Straight right hand now, just misses. Looking for that left hand, not there. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Lee's kick is blocked. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Beautiful punch. Not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. That was a thudding leg kick. Let's go, guys, work! Stay busy. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes he is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on gotta be careful here though not to gas out blocks that strike twenty seconds now remain in the round trying to inflict some damage here but misses with the kick Final seconds. Kick kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It was coming high, and now he's got him hurt. 
bad. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hurt there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice right hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! Oh, he might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big knee to the body! Well, most of the... Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big head kick. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, connects with the one-two. Lee gets hit with a kick. Right hook attempt, but it's no good. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Take them down. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Blocks that kick to the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Spinning back fist. That one home. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Got it does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice punch by Lee. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Missed with that attempt. Beautiful wide kick. 
Nice defense there, huge block. 30 seconds now to go in the round. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just missed with the leg kick. Caught that kick there. Way to hide that leg kick. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Fifth and final round. Best head kick you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Nice body. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Three, three, three. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? It's okay, keep going. Big head kick lands. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Hands high, hands high. Ooh, what a head kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Body keep land right under the elbow. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. It clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Nice punch lands over the top. What a body kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Beautiful body kick. Starting to form on the right side of his body. Big kick land. And there comes the separation now. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, nice right hand. just misses with the kick. Very nice outside leg kick by him. Whoa! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. 
right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. It's in there deep. There you go. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. What else can you say but what a fight? The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins.